All right, so we have another rule of circles dealing with tangents. Tangents from the same point outside the same external point. If they're tangent to the same circle, they are the same length. They are congruent. So we're going to be told that AB and AD are tangent to circle C. It means they hit circle C each at one point. AB hits at B, AD hits at D. The rule says that those two segments, AB and AD, are the same length. Therefore, if we have equations for them, we can find out that length. So we're told that these two things, 3x plus 10, are equal. 7x minus 6. There's the new geometry. That's it. Now we do some algebra to solve it. doesn't matter which way you go to solve. you got to get letters on one side, numbers on the other side. So it's at 6. You do have to add or subtract first before you do anything else. It's kind of like doing PEMDAS backwards. Divide by 4, divide by 4. X equals 4. Now we're actually not done because they didn't just say find X, they said find the length of that. So now that we know X is 4, let's use it. 3 times 4 plus 10, 12 plus 10, 22. Awesome, they should be the same. Well, let's make sure they're the same. Let's double check our answer. We've got another equation to use x with. 8 minus 6 is 22. Okay, so we did it right. They're both 22 in length. All right, so here's uh, got a couple tangents. HG and HI are tangent. Um, so how big is each line that's on this drawing? Well. If 5 is a radius, that means Ji is also a radius, so that's 5. If Hi is tangent and Hg is tangent, they should be the same length. That's the rule we just did. So that should be 8. Now we need to figure out how long Hj is. Um, you realize those two triangles are the same triangle? Um, just one's uh, it's like a reflection and HJ is the line of reflection. Do you realize those two triangles are right triangles? That the f one of our rules of tangents says tangents are perpendicular to a radius. Well, if they're right triangles, that means we can do Pythagorean theorem. Just have to identify which is the hypotenuse and which is the legs. Again, the legs make up the right angle. I don't care how it looks like. The legs make up the right angle, so that's A and B. So 5 and 8 are making up the right angle, so 5 and 8 are the A and B. So 5 squared plus 8 squared equals C squared. And so 25, 64, 89 equals C squared. So C is, um, it's less than 10, but it's bigger than 9. Because 9 times 9 is 81, 10 times 10 is 100. If you had a calculator handy, you could do it. I'm okay if you told me square root of 89, which is around 9 point, I don't know, 9.3 ish. So we just found that segment, JH, because it's the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And we use two tangent rules. All right, so let's see here. We have the same kind of setup, don't we? Um, we have a radius of an Earth uh, as 4,000. And we've got a satellite at B that's 11,000 miles above the Earth. <clears throat> we want to know how far does this satellite have to be able to transmit to transmit to C and A, which are tangents points of tangency. And those points of tangencies are the farthest distance this satellite's going to be able to transmit. Um, it's got to transmit at least 11,000 because it's got to transmit at least to the Earth there. But it's got to be transmitting a little bit farther to get over to here. And if C is a point of tangency, it's not going to transmit to there, you know, the South Pole, because uh, it can't see the South Pole. It can only transmit in a... Uh, line of sight aspect. 
So, they're the same distance, BA and BC. Now again, let's use that other rule of tangents that if we've got a radius, we've got a right triangle. Um, so, we gotta figure out what is in our right triangle. So a right triangle, again, you got to figure out what A, B, and C are. And A and B make up the angle, make up the right angle. So let's see, that's a radius. So that radius right there, that is 4,000. And then our B is actually what we're trying to find. And then our hypotenuse is the radius plus the distance above. So that's 15,000. All right, so 4,000 squared is going to be 16 with six zeros. You should know that. And 15,000 squared is 15 times 15, 225 with six zeros. Subtract 16 from both sides. So that's 209,000. Um, so the square root of whatever 209, oh, sorry, million, 209 million is. Um, well, if 15,000 squared is 225, it's going to be less than 15,000. All right, well, let's think about perfects. So 15 is 225, 14 is 196. All right, so it's got to be somewhere in the 14,000 range. Because 14 times 14 is 196, and 15 times 15 is 225. Um, so if you want to be perfect, you you know if you if you feel that need to uh, get the calculator out and get an exact answer, I don't know 14,300 ish, 14,400 ish, something in there. Um, so if you're buying a satellite, you want to make sure it can transmit. I'd say at least 15,000. So there's using two rules of tangents.